Spencer O'Brien has captured six X Games medals in her prestigious career. She was ready to shine in the slopestyle final, but her hopes were dashed due to unpredictable and gusting wins. Now she's with me, and this is Pushing Limits. Well, Spencer, last time we were hanging out, we were in Burnaby, BC at Fortilla Sports Center. That was a blast. Yeah, it was great. In Burnaby, uh, you showed me your gym and what you're doing to train for the Olympics. Now that we're at the Olympics, I thought I should show you what I've been up to. So if you follow me in the Stark Alley, I know that sounds weird, but um, we're gonna be okay. protected, okay? Okay, let's do it. You have to it. trust me on this, okay? I trust you, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Spencer. Real talk. Real talk. You've competed once, slope style. You have big air yet to come. Where are you at before big air? I had a nice few days off after slope style, kind of to reset. Um, obviously, that one didn't go very well for me, and it's kind of my stronger event, so I was a little bit bummed for that one to not go well. Yeah, just gonna reset and, and try and stay super focused for big air and, and hope for a better outcome for that. Come on. <laughs> after the games, when you get back to Canada, what are you gonna do? Uh, well, I got a week off at home, so I'm really looking forward to that, kind of catch up with friends and family. And then I'll go straight to Vail for the US Open, which I think is just going to be the funnest event this year, because yeah. all that Olympic pressure will be off everybody, and yeah. it's a snowboard-only contest, so I think it's kind of just going to be a super fun spring event with everyone together, which will be great. How does this compare to snowboard? It's hard. It's way more fast I know. I'm scared. Yeah. Whoa. Spencer, have you ever done any meditating like this? Not necessarily like this, but I definitely try to meditate at least 10 minutes a day. So that's one thing snowboarding, snowboarding's given me is just um, the discipline to like take care of myself. You said discipline in there, and these kids are a lot more disciplined than us. How would you reset your finish line? Like, what is your finish line after snowboarding? I don't know yet. I still have a lot of things that I want to accomplish in snowboarding. It's funny, once you get to be an older rider, and I mean, I've been doing this for so long now that, you know, that question gets asked a lot. But I definitely want to keep competing. There's still so much avenues of snowboarding that I haven't explored and I haven't I feel like I haven't tapped into my true potential yet. Thanks for being on Pushing Limits, Spencer! Woo! Woo! Nice to have me. You're always on the move. We're always with you. Bisa, everywhere you want to be.